And to the United States now, the country's media is now dominated by stories and speculation on Republican high-tech advisor Mike Connell's death. He worked on both of George W. Bush's presidential campaigns and died on Friday after his private plane crashed as he prepared to land after flying from Maryland. And for more, let's go to artist Dina Gusovsky in Washington, D.C. Um, Dina, hello to you. So, Connell also advised uh, John McCain this year and was linked to missing White House emails and other controversies. So could there be more to this story than just a plane crash? Well, that's really what everybody is asking themselves right now. Ever since Connell's death, there has been an abundance of speculation and theories of whether or not it could have had something more to do than this tragic plane crash. Now, let me explain why. According to the Free Press, which is an independent media here in the U.S., there was something mysterious with the 2000 and 2004 elections where some people say they could have been rigged. Now, on the night of the 2004 election, uh, early exit polls showed John Kerry in the lead against George W. Bush in that crucial state of Ohio. And then shortly after about 2 in the morning, there was sort of a ceasing of information, and there was information that stopped flowing. And then all of a sudden, there was a dramatic shift in vote count to favor George Bush. He ended up clinching that state, and he ended up getting his second term as president. Now, where does Mike Connell come in? Well, he was that IT expert uh, in both of the Bush's campaigns in 2000 and 2004. So that's where he comes in the middle of the speculation that he could have been involved in what some say was a rigging of both of those elections. Yeah, and had anyone been investigating Connell's actions before he died? Yeah, a nonprofit group called Velvet Revolution, or VR, they were actually investigating Connell for the past few years. And sources there uh, tell me that he might have been involved in the destruction of White House emails, among other things. And VR says that someone close to the McCain campaign, which you uh, said earlier that he also advised, disclosed to them that Connell's life was actually in jeopardy. And get this, he was actually warned not to fly his plane uh, because of some problems with the engine. And he actually had had to cancel uh, two of his previous flights in the past few months alone uh, because of some kind of problems or because there was some suspicion that there was something uh, wrong with the plane. Now, why all of this suspicion? Well, Mike Connell could have disclosed information that have been absolutely de detrimental to the Bush administration and to the Republican Party in general, in particular, Karl Rove. Karl Rove is known as the mastermind of the Bush campaign, but unfortunately, I think for everyone, many people know Karl Rove from this video right here. Let's play it. He will do it, or without fail. Get out his gun, cause he's shooting quail. This man will never stop. Look at him jumping up and down and ready to hop. He's got so much to prove. Man, tell me you never saw this man move. Doing the dance, the car roll dance, doing the dance, the car roll dance, a dancing and talking and dancing and talking and dancing and talking and dancing and talking. Yeah, that would be Karl Rove there. And when he's not busy rapping or dancing, as you just saw in that video, he's busy focusing on his political career, one of the most controversial political careers probably in U.S. history. There's actually a website, get this, called sendkarlrovetojail.com. And not just for that little dance you saw there, but he's said to have been one of the quote-unquote chief salesmen of the war in Iraq. He's said to have outed a CIA agent, and now he's sort of involved... Uh, in this speculation right here. Uh, so you could see how he's linked to Connell in that manner. And my sources also tell me that apparently it was he who had threatened both Connell and his wife. And now the, yes, there have been many allegations of how the U.S. electoral system is corrupt. Uh, so how does this, uh, his death relate to what, if anything, we can find out about this system? Well, his death really comes at a time when election protection attorneys were really focusing and really zeroing in on examining those irregularities. And Mike Connell could have provided a wealth of information for them. And that's one of the reasons that people are speculating that there could have been something more with this tragic plane crash that killed Mike Connell. All right. Dina Gusnowski reporting there live from Washington, D.C. Dina, many thanks indeed.